Hello everyone and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Okay, so in this uh, episode, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do basic integration. Okay, so ito yung mga examples na isosolve natin this afternoon. Ano? So, ang gagamitin lang natin dito is mga basic integral formulas, the indefinite integrals, and uh, uh, most of the time, yung uh, power formula ang ating gagamitin. Ano? So, these are just some of them. Actually, there are, uh, uh, I think, uh, more than 10 examples in this uh, uh, video. Okay, so let's get started na. Ano? Now, uh, before we go on solving these uh, example problems, let me again show you the most important uh, uh, formulas for uh, integration that you should know. No? As a, a student who is beginning to learn integral calculus okay so these are some of the formulas if you recall we actually uh, studied these formulas last time we derived them from differentiation okay so uh, this is the integral of a constant the integral of a power function the integral of dx over x which is ln of x and many more okay so i am expecting that uh, at this uh, moment you are uh, already know these formulas by heart. You are already familiar with them. Why? Because we'll be needing them from time to time. Okay? So, let us now solve the example problems. Okay? So, this is the first example. Okay. So, hindi pa pala siya example actually. I should be presenting the properties of uh, indefinite integral indefinite integrals first. Okay, so ano ba itong mga property ng indefinite integral na ito? Okay. So, uh, if you recall, uh, one of the important properties of derivatives, for example, is this. No? What is d over dx of 3 sine x? Okay. So, when we differentiate, this constant is simply taken out of the derivative. So, that is the same as 3 times the derivative with respect to x of sine x. And of course, that is 3, which is uh, multiplied by the derivative of sine x, which is of course cosine x. Okay? So, if there is a constant no, in the expression that we are differentiating, we get or we take that constant out. Okay? And it simply becomes a multiplier. Now, the same is true for integration. For example, the integral of the constant a multiplied by the function f of x dx, okay, because a is a constant, okay, that can be taken out of the integral sign and then let us multiply it by the integral of f of x dx. Okay? Now, to illustrate this, let me give you an example. Halimbawa, ano ang integral ng uh, 3 uh, sine of x dx. Okay? So, if you recall, the okay, so applying this property, because this 3 is just a constant, we take it out of the integral and it becomes a multiplier. Now, what's left is the integral of sine x Okay, dx. So now, of course, we already are familiar with the integral of the sine function. No? If you recall, ano nga uli ang integral ng sine x dx? That is positive or negative sine? That's negative cosine actually. No? So that's 3 multiplied by or uh, negative 3 times cosine of x and let's add the arbitrary constant plus c. Okay? So, uh, that's how you apply this property. So, madali lang, di ba? Okay. So, another important property is, if we integrate, for example, the function, uh, lagyan natin dito na yan, f of x, no? Plus g of x, and then dx. So, if we integrate two functions, a sum of two functions, then we can actually integrate them separately. No? So, this is just the same as the integral of f of x dx and then plus the integral of g of x dx. Okay? So, again, if we have two functions no, which are added together or a sum of two functions na gusto mong integrate 
you can integrate them separately. Okay? So, these are important properties of uh, the indefinite integral na maaari nating ma-encounter sa mga susunod pa nating uh, example problems. Okay? So, I hope you remember them very well. Now, let's go to the examples. Okay? Number one, first example is how to integrate x cubed. <coughs> okay. So, as we can see, this is a power function. Ano? So, again... If we want to integrate a power function, we should use the power formula. Now, if you recall, ano nga po ang formula ng power function kapag ini-integrate? x to the n dx. So, if you recall, that's x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 and then plus c. Okay, so here, n is equal to 3. No? So, ang mangyayari dyan, yung 3, dadagdagan mo lang ng 1. Okay? So, this will become x to the 4, no, over 4, and then plus C. Okay, so now what's the rule? No, so for power functions at in-integrate mo, dadagdagan mo lang lagi ng isa ang exponent niya. No, so increment the exponent by 1. And then kung ano ang exponent, yun din ang denominator. Tatandaan po lagi, no? Okay, so kung ano ang exponent, yun din ang kanyang denominator. Again, when we integrate power functions. Okay, so how about another example? Okay, dx over x to the 4. So this time, <coughs> we have uh, an expression in the denominator. Okay, so sir, paano natin yan integrate Parang wala naman tayong formula na ganyan sa ating table of integrals. Actually, you can rewrite this as x to the negative 4 dx. Because the uh, x to the 4th is in the denominator, no? kapag ka tinaas natin yan, yung exponent niya, gagawin mo lang negative. No? So since this is now uh, x raised to a certain integer, we can now apply the power formula for integration. No? Our n is now negative 4. So if we integrate this, no? negative 4 plus 1, of course, is negative 3. So this will become x to the negative 3 divided by kung anong exponent, yun din ang denominator, and then plus C. Okay? So, para mas maganda siyang tingnan, gawin na lang nating negative yan. No? Negative. Tapos, tanggalin natin yung negative exponent para magandang tingnan. Ano? So, that will be 1 over 3x cubed, and then plus C. Okay, so this is now our final answer. Now, so it's more uh, convenient if we will write our final answers in terms of positive rather than negative exponents. Okay? Ayan. Sige. No? More examples pa tayo. <coughs> okay. How about the square root of x dx? Paano natin yan i-integrate? Okay. So, remember that the square root can be written in terms of exponential form, no? Naka-exponent siya. Remember that square root of x is the same as x to the one-half, no? And if you're able to write square root of x in terms of x to the one-half, then we can uh, apply the power formula for integration. Our n will become one-half. So, by writing it as x to the one-half, no, followed by dx. Now, my n is 1 half. Of course, if I integrate that, 1 half plus 1, that will give me 3 halves. Okay? So, that will be x raised to 3 halves. And then remember, kung ano ang exponent, yun din ang denominator. No? Now, kapag ka ganyan, no, ang discarding ginagawa natin is, Kapag ang coefficient natin or ang exponent natin ay fraction, no? Wag na nating ilagay yung fraction na yun sa denominator kasi pangit tingnan, no? I-shortcut na agad natin 'yan, no? So if your exponent is 3 halves, the multiplier will become the reciprocal of it. So ang multiplier mo ngayon ay 2 thirds, no? Sa halip na lagyan mo lang siya ng divisor, ang ilagay mo na lang multiplier para hindi sa komplikadong tingnan, no? Kaso nga lang ang multiplier reciprocal no? Okay, so magiging 2 thirds Which is reciprocal ng 3 halves And then x to the 3 halves And then plus c Okay, so this is now our answer Okay, so ba madali lang? Sobrang dali no? Sobrang dali, walang kasing dali Ay, shit no? mm. <laughs> Eto naman, oh, dito ko na lang isulat ha Kasi wala ng space doon no? So we have dx over Mali. Cube root dapat yun, no? 
So that's cube root of x. So how do we integrate this? Okay. So just like what we did kanina, we will express cube root in terms of exponents, right? Okay. So remember that uh, the cube root of x is the same as x raised to one third. But since the cube root is in the denominator, of course the exponent will become negative. No. So this entire expression can be written as x to the negative one third dx. No. So since ang format niya power function na siya, we can now apply the power formula. No. Yung x to the n kapag inintegrate magiging x to the n plus one over n plus one. So if our n is negative one third, negative one third plus one is equal to what? So yung one di ba three thirds yon? Okay. So negative one third plus three thirds is positive two thirds. So our answer will be x to the positive two-thirds. And what did I tell you? Kapag ang exponent ay uh, uh, fraction, ang gagawin mo na lang sa halip na divisor, multiplier na lang. Tapos sa reciprocal ng exponents. So if the exponent is two-thirds, here we will put a multiplier of three-halves. And then of course, lagyan mo lang ng arbitrary constant na plus. So our answer is now three-halves x raised to two-thirds, and then plus c. That's it. Ganun lang po kadali. Ano? So, the next time, may makita ka na power function, pero nasa ilalim, no? yung exponent niya gagawin mo lang negative. Okay? So, halimbawa naman, x or dx, o oh, ganito, halimbawa, dx over x to the negative 2. No? Paano mo integrate yan? E di itong x to the negative 2, nasa ilalim, gawin mo lang Integral of x squared dx. Ayan, magiging x squared dx lang yan. Tapos, pag inintegrate mo siya, of course, that will become x cubed over 3 and then plus c. Okay, so uh, tatandaan po ha, yung power formula, ang pinakamahalagang formula sa pag integrate no? Kasi sa applications, karamihan po ay power functions ang ini-integrate natin. No? Sa application, hindi tayo nag integrate ng komplikadong functions. Okay. Basic lang talaga. So, yung power function na x to the n, pag integrate natin, yung n dadagdagan mo lang ng 1. x to the n plus 1, and then gagawin mo lang denominator kung anong exponent, yun din ang denominator. Okay? So, let us solve more examples. So, this time, let us solve this. <coughs> so, meron tayo ditong x squared. Pakita natin ang pointer, no? x squared times the quantity 2 plus 4 over x. So, paano natin ito i-integrate? Okay? So, actually, uh, if there is a way to simplify the expression first before integrating, you simplify it. So, what simplification can we do for this given problem? We can actually multiply x squared no, to this term. So, x squared times 2 and then plus x squared times 4 over x. Okay? Let us write that. Ayan. So, this becomes the integral of... Ang pangit naman ng integral ko. Parang ikaw ang pangit. Ay, charot! Sorry. Sorry. Foul yun. <laughs> Baka mapiko ng pangit. So, ayan. Integral of... This will become 2x squared and then plus... So, itong x squared, pag minultiply ko dito, makakancel itong x at may matitirang isang x doon. So, magiging plus 4x na lang siya. And then, kopyahin mo yung dx. Ay! Nako! Shit! Nag-integrate tayo ng sum ng dalawang terms. Anong sinabi nung property kanina? Kapag nag-integrate ka ng sum, you can actually integrate them separately. No? So, I can write this as the integral of... 2x squared dx plus the integral of 4x dx. So now integrating, no? pag in-integrate natin ito, of course, power function yan magiging 2x cubed over 3. And then plus, ito naman, 4x squared over 2. And then plus c. Okay? So I can still simplify this. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, I can rewrite my final answer as 2 thirds x cubed plus 2 
x squared and then plus c. So you might notice that uh, the arbitrary constant in the first integral and the arbitrary constant in the second integral are now combined into a single arbitrary constant. Ganun po yun. Hindi naman pwede na dalawa yung arbitrary constant na ilalagay mo dito. Isa na lang po. Okay? So madali lang yan, ano? Madali lang. Okay, so sige, mag-solve pa tayo ng isang example. So this time, parang ganun din, meron tayong ilang terms, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so pero of course, wag na natin siyang isulat ng apat na integrals. No? I-integrate natin sa recta na lang. No? Unlike yung ginawa natin dito na pinakita natin na in-integrate natin sila separately, of course, at the back of our mind, alam naman natin, yun ang ating gagawin. No? But let us just write the result readily no? and save some ink. Okay? <laughs> so, pag in-integrate mo itong 10x to the 4th, magiging 10, o yung 4 magiging 5. x to the 5, of course, kung anong denominator, kung anong yung exponent, yun din ang denominator. And then, minus, ito. <laughs> so, magiging 2x, Yung cube, magiging 4 lang. Of course, again, kung anong numerator, kung anong exponent, yun din ang denominator. And then plus 4, itong x, magkakaroon ng x squared. No? Yung 2, gagawin mo rin denominator. And then minus, of course, integral ng 1, kakaroon lang siya ng x. And then of course, plus the arbitrary constancy. So, uh, finally, we can simplify our answer. No? Because 10 over 5, of course, is 2. So, we have 2 x to the 5 minus 2 over 4. That's 1 half. So, 1 half x raised to 4. I'm sorry. This is 2 x to the 5 minus 1 half x to the 4 plus, of course, 4 over 2 is 2. So, 2 x squared and then minus x and then plus. So, this is now our final answer. Of course, which is correct. And now, so, ayan. So, I hope yung power function kabisado nyo na by this time. Na, madali lang pag power function. Now, para naman magkaroon tayo ng twist, <laughs> let us try to integrate this. Tingnan natin kung paano yan. Sir, yung ating binomial naka-square, paano po natin yan i-integrate? No? Uh, so far, wala naman tayong nakitang formula na nasa loob ng parenthesis yung ini-square. No? Can we consider this as a power function? Actually, uh, pwede mo muna itong expand. No? Do we know how to expand a binomial? Madali lang. No? So, let us first expand the binomial. No? This can be written as x squared minus. Kapag minus to, dapat minus din yun. Kapag ito ay plus, dapat plus din yung kasunod. Okay? And then, 4 times x, multiply mo lang. And then, ito times mo sa 2. No? So, we have 4 times x is 4x times 2 is 8x. And then, square of the last term. No? Whether this is minus or plus, the sign here is always positive. Okay? <coughs> so, we have uh, the square of 4 which is 16. And then, dx. Okay? So, we can now apply the property of the indefinite integral kung saan kapag nag-integrate tayo ng sum, no, that can be written as the integral of the individual terms. No, so, integrate natin ito individually. This becomes x cubed over 3 minus, this is 8x. So, ang exponent niya dito, 1. So, magiging to dito. And then, over 2. Plus, kapag constant, tinadagdagan lang yan ng variable. At this time, ang variable natin ay x. Okay? So, we now have the answer. No? x cubed over 3. Minus, okay, so we can simplify the second term. So we have one third x cubed and then minus 8 over 2 is 4. So 4x squared and then plus 16x. And of course, do not forget to put a plus c. So kalimitan po yung mga estudyante, dyan nakakamali. No? Minsan ang teacher or ang prof strict, kapag ka walang c, mali na. Okay. So, kailangan kapag indefinite ang integral, we include to add the arbitrary constant. Okay? Now, how about this? Kanina nag-square tayo, ngayon naman mag-cube tayo. No? So, sir, paano yan? Uh, applicable pa rin dito ang integ uh, integration of powers, yung power function. Kaso nga lang, 
before you can apply the power function or the power formula for integration, you have to expand this just like what we did here. Okay? Can you still recall how to expand the cube of a binomial? O oh, sige, recall muna natin. Baka nakalimutan nyo na. What is a plus b cube? Of course, you have to cube the first term, a cube, and then plus. <coughs> Multiply mo ng 3, no? Yung unang term, no? Naka-square. At yung pangalawang term, 1 lang ang exponent. And then plus, 3 uli, no? Okay, yung unang term, 1 na lang ang exponent. And then yung pangalawang term, magiging 2 na yung exponent niya. Nagpalit lang sila. Kanina naka-square yung a. Ngayon naman naka-square yung b. No? Okay. And then after that, plus uli, cube of the second term. No? So, b cube. Okay? So, tandaan po natin, algebra po iyan. No? Minsan kasi kinakailangan, pag ikaw ay nag integrate i-recall mo yung skills mo ng algebra. Bakit po? Uh, magagamit natin yung inyong algebra skills para sa pagsisimplify ng expression para ito ay ma-integrate. No? Kagaya po ng uh, example natin ngayon. Hindi natin ito ma-integrate at this moment no? with our present knowledge kung hindi natin siya i-cube. Okay? Actually, pwede tayong gumamit ng substitution. However, uh, hindi ko pa naiituro or nadidiscuss sa inyo ang substitution. That's why we have to settle for uh, what we know so far. No? Which is yun yung mga formula na itinuro ko yung fundamental formulas and one of them is the power formula how to integrate the power function now sir what if minus yan a minus b cube <coughs> so same lang yung unang term a cube and then yung pangalawang term magiging minus kopyahin mo lang uli no 3a squared b and then plus naman alternating yan positive negative positive and then magne negative ulit yung dulo no 3a b squared minus and then b cube okay so dun lang po sila nagkaiba if this is positive these are all positive signs and if this is negative then we have an alternating positive negative positive negative okay so let us now apply this uh, cube of a binomial here in this given problem so, I can write this as x cubed <laughs> minus, dapat minus then <laughs> And then, 3 times the first times the second. Now, 3 times the square of the first. So, we have 3. x squared multiplied by 2. And then, plus 3 ulit. And then, multiplied by x times the square of 2. Okay. And then, minus, okay, the cube of 2. Okay, 2. And then, cube. Ayan. So, paltan ko lang. Gawin ko lang tong brace. Ayan. Dx. Okay, so since na-expand na natin, pwede na natin itong apply ng uh, power formula for integration. So, here we have x cube. So, this becomes x to the fourth. Over 4 minus. So here we will have 3 times 2 is 6. 6x squared. So that will become 6x cubed over 3. And then plus. So we have here 2 squared which is 4. No? 4. And then times 3 is 12. No? 12x kapag in-integrate is 12x squared over 2. And then minus 2 cubed is 8. So we have here. Pag in-integrate mo yung 8, magiging 8x. Okay? So, of course, lagyan natin yan ng plus C. Baka makalimutan. Now, let us simplify no, our answer. So, we have 1 fourth x to the fourth. And then minus 6 over 3 is 2. So, 2x cubed. And then plus 12 over 2 is 6. So, 6x squared. And then minus 8x. And then plus C. Okay, so there you have it guys. No? So, na-solve na po natin ang problem na iyan. Okay, so sa ngayon ha, ang alam pa lang natin is yung mga fundamental formulas for integration which we were able to derive from our uh, knowledge of derivatives. Okay, so ang pinakaginagamit doon, tandaan, is yung power function. No?
So, which is yun. Nakita nyo na naman dito sa mga examples na sinosolve ko. So far, power function pa lang din ang nagagamit natin. Now, of course, with the help of our uh, knowledge of algebra. Okay? Now, let us try solving this. Okay? x minus 3 and then squared times x plus 2 and then dx. Okay? So, ano bang ginawa natin kanina? No? Uh, in-integrate lang, uh, hindi natin ito may integrate readily as it is. Now, the first thing that we will do, of course, is to expand this and then multiply it by x plus 2. So, gawin muna natin yan. No? So, that will be the integral of, let us expand, x squared, and then minus, how do we expand this? So, minus, kaya negative dito, and then multiply mo yung dalawa, times mo ng 2. So, 3x times 2 is 6x, and then square the last term. No? 3 squared is 9 And then you multiply it by x plus 2 Okay Now <laughs> Multiply natin x squared times x is x cubed And then negative 6x squared Plus 9x And then plus 2 times x squared is 2x squared. And then 2 times negative 6 is negative 12x. And then 2 times 9 is 18. Okay, before we put dx. Now we are ready to integrate term by term using uh, the power formula. Okay. But we can simplify this and combine like terms like this two. No. So we have x cubed. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. And then x squared. So we have here 9 minus 12. Of course, that's negative 3x. And then a constant term here plus 18. And then, of course, dx. Ayan. So makakapag-integrate na tayo ngayon term by term using the integration of power function. Okay, so wala ng integral kasi nga mag-integrate na tayo. No, integral ng x cubed, that's x to the 4th over 4. And then minus... This becomes 4x cubed over 3. And then minus 3x squared over 2. And then plus 18x. And of course, do not forget to put plus c. Okay, so this is now our answer. I know. So we have x to the 4th over 4 minus uh, 4x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 18x. Okay, so madali lang. I know. So far, again, power function pa lang yung ginagamit natin. How about another example? No? Okay, so this time, instead of x, ang ginagamit naman natin ay t. Huwag kayong mawiwindang kung nagbago ang variable. Variable lang yun. Hindi yan nakakamatay at hindi nakahain niya ng tao. So anong gagawin natin dyan, sir? What did I tell you kanina? Kung pwedeng isimplify ang given bago i-integrate, isimplify muna. So in the numerator, we have, or, so we have a rational expression here. But of course, as we have seen in our uh, formulas kanina, in the beginning, wala naman tayong nakita na formula na ganyan ang itsura. So what we will do is to simplify this first by dividing both terms in the numerator by the denominator t cubed. No? So isimplify lang natin yan. We will be integrating instead what is t to the 5 over t cubed. Of course, uh, again, mahalaga yung algebra dito, no? the loss of exponents. No? So, kung nakalimutan mo na yun, you need to review your algebra. Okay? T, t to the 5 over t cube, of course, magiging t squared na lang yan. Kasi po, kapag ka same base, pinagsusubtract ang exponent kung sila ay nakadivide. Ano? So, ayan. 4 t squared na lang siya. Minus 2. Ayan. And then, t over t cube. So, ito 1. No? 1 yan. Minus 3 is negative 2. So, 2t to the negative 2. And then, dt. Okay? So, pwede na tayong mag-integrate ngayon. Okay? Paano natin yan integrate Of course, you have to apply the power formula, the integration of power function. No? So, here, the exponent is 2. So, magiging cube yan. No? 4 thirds t cube. So, ayun yung cube na exponent. Ginawa kong denominator dito. Then, minus 2 times. So, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, no? So, t2 to the negative 1 over negative 1 and then plus c. 
Okay? So, pangiting na ito na may negative. No? So, isimplify natin. Dahil 1 naman yung denominator, pwede na natin hindi ilagay yung value niya. Okay? Tapos ito negative, ito negative. So, magiging positive na lang yan. No? So, our answer no? in its simplified uh, form is 4 thirds t cube and then plus no 2 okay so yung exponent natin dito negative what did i tell you kanina uh, we can avoid negative exponents by of course writing uh, this t to the negative 1 as 1 over t so that will be plus 2 over t okay and then plus c okay so this is now our final answer Okay? Di ba madali lang? Sobrang dali. Walang kasing dali. Now, so by this time, I am expecting batak na kayo sa paggamit ng power formula or ng formula sa pag-integrate ng power function. Okay? So, tingnan natin itong dalawang last examples. Okay? So, para maiba naman, mag-integrate naman tayo ng trigonometric function. Kasi nga, batak na batak na yun, na kayo sa pag-integrate ng power function. So, trigonometric naman. Na. So, this is cosine x over sine squared of x. So, so far, ano pa lang ang alam natin? Yung mga formula sa pag-integrate ng basic functions. And wala doon, obviously, ito. Na. So, kanina, sinabi ko sa inyo na mahalaga yung algebra. Na, yung skills mo sa algebra, or factoring, pag-expand ng binomial, pag-expand ng, uh, uh, ano pa, uh, tawag dito, yung mga rules. Rules of exponents, rules of radicals, ganyan. Okay? Now, sa trigonometry, ang kailangan naman natin dito sa trigonometry is uh, yung knowledge mo ng basic identities. No, knowledge of basic identities Okay? So that means Kinakailangan nating Sulat or ma-rewrite itong given na ito no? In terms of uh, Something else Kasi nga, sa listahan natin Ang formulas, wala namang ganyang format Ang meron lang tayo Integral ng sine, integral ng cosine Integral ng <coughs> Excuse me Second squared di ba? integral ng <laughs> cosecant squared, integral ng uh, ano pa ba yun? Second tangent, etc. Pero ito, cosine over sine squared x. Okay? So, gawa natin ang paraan para ma-integrate natin yan. Okay? Cosine x, sine squared x. Actually, itong sine squared, pwede nating paghiwalayin. Gawin natin dalawang sine. Let's see if that will work. Now, sa simula, kung hindi ka pa magaling, pwede ka mag-trial and error. Okay? So, cosine x divided by, naka-square yan, no? So, pwede natin gawing uh, sine x times sine x. And then, gawa natin ang paraan para yung alam nating formula, may express natin siya. No? Okay. Cosine over sine. What is cosine over sine? That's cotangent, right? Pag in-express natin ito as cotangent, lagyan natin ng uh, arrow para makita mo. Kapag in-express natin itong cosine over sine as cotangent, may matitira na 1 over sine. Okay? Will that work? Tingnan natin. Sabi kasi natin itong sine over or cosine over sine, that is the same as Cotangent. And that's correct. Cotangent of x. Pero may matitira dito na 1 over sine. Shit! Ano ba yung 1 over sine? Di ba yung 1 over sine, that is the same as cosecant. No? If you remember the reciprocal identities. No? So that's cosecant x and then dx. Now, we're left with this. Okay. Now, let us try to recall. Now, dun ba sa mga formulas na alam natin, meron bang ganito? Meron bang integral ng cotangent cosecant? Meron ba? Actually, yes. No? Dun lang sa formula na ibinigay ko, inuna ko lang yung cosecant. Cosecant x and then cotangent x dx. Do you still recall the answer? No, if we will integrate cosecant x and then cotangent x, 
Anong function ang kapag dinifferentiate mo? Ang sagot ay cosecant, cotangent. Na? Hala. Ano pong sagot kung natatandaan mo? Sige nga, try mong mag-isip. Anong integral ng secant squared? Tangent. No? Anong integral ng uh, uh, negative cosecant squared? Negative cotangent. Right? Okay. So kapag ka uh, cosecant x cotangent x dx, anong sagot dyan? Oh, sige. Uh, tandaan mo muna yung uh, second tangent. No? At try natin mag-differentiate ha. Ano nga ang d with respect to x of uh, second x. Kung natatandaan mo sa differential calculus, this is second x and then tangent x. Now, ano naman ang derivative with respect to x of cosecant x? That is negative cosecant x cotangent x. Okay, so that's it. No, so ayun no, kung mapapansin mo, itong cosecant x at saka cotangent x, eto siya. No? Again, kung nakalimutan mo yung formula. Okay? That's why again, I'm reminding you, you have to be familiar with all of the basic uh, indefinite integrals that I have discussed last or in the previous video. Okay? But this is negative. However, this is positive. So, our answer here must be negative. So, negative of cosecant x. And of course, you have to put plus c. Okay? So, ayun. Nasolve na natin. Na? So, ang integral ng cosecant x, cotangent x, kapag ka po, integrate mo yung function na yan, negative of cosecant x. Again, tandaan po ang formula. Okay, so let's uh, go to the last example for this uh, episode. Ayan, pawiin ko muna to ha. Pawiin ko muna. So now, ang i-integrate naman natin ay nakakahilo. Bakit siya nakakahilo? Because it's dizzy. <laughs> dz over sine squared of z So huwag kayong matakot Bakit? Pinalitan ko lang naman yung variable No? Okay So again, sa ating formulas of integration Na itinuro sa inyo Walang ganitong itsura So again We can uh, find ways In order to express the given Into something we are familiar with Okay? Sir, kanina yung sine squared, ginawa natin sine times sine. <coughs> Kapag ginawa mo ba yung sine times sine, sige, gawin mo yun. dz over <laughs> sine z times sine z. Sa tingin mo, uubra yan? Parang hindi naman eh. Wala namang mangyayari. <laughs> Di ba? Okay, so I think that won't work. Okay, so try something else. Aha, ano pang naiisip mo? Ah, nasa baba siya. So, perhaps we can use the reciprocal identities. Ano ba sa trigonometry ang 1 over sine x? Di ba? Yun yung kanina, cosecant x. So, ano pala ang 1 over sine squared x? Eh, di cosecant squared x. That's it. Ayan. Okay cosecant squared x. So that means that I can express this as cosecant o uh, of z. Ayan, a square siya dito. dz. Tanong, uh, yun bang mga formula na familiar tayo? May ganito ba? Integral ng cosecant squared z. Anong function ang kapag inintegrate mo, ang makukuha mo ay cosecant squared? Nako. Kinakailangan, familiar tayo dyan. Cosecant squared. No? Di ba kapag ka nag-differentiate uh, nag tayo ng tangent, ang sagot ay secant squared. No? Derivative with respect to x of tangent x. That is secant squared x. Okay. Eh, ito cosecant. 
So, anong dineferentiate mo? Hindi cotangent. No. The derivative with respect to x of cotangent x that is negative of cosecant squared x. No. So, kapag nagdi-differentiate tayo ng uh, trigonometric function na nagsisimula sa letter C, negative ang sagot. Ayan, cosecant squared. Ito, cosecant squared rin. No. So, kung ito negative at ito ay positive, dapat negative yung sagot ko dito. Negative of, ito. So, cotangent of z and then plus c. Okay, so uh, guys, tandaan po natin ang mga basic uh, formula sa pag-i-integrate. No? Integral ng cosecant, cotangent, negative cosecant. At ang integral naman ng cosecant squared ay negative cotangent. Okay? So, ayan. Kung medyo nalilito pa kayo, siguro kayo na kailangan yung uh, isulat, no? ng maraming beses yung mga formulas na yan by hand. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ko nung ako nag-aaral pa, if I am trying to memorize something, especially formulas, mathematical expressions and formulas, I tend to write the formulas down several times until I get used to it. And then, of course, when I'm used to it, I'm able to memorize the formulas. Okay? So, uh, those are just some tips for you. Because, of course, you are uh, students who are beginning to learn calculus. Okay? So, ayan. Tapos na po tayo sa episode na ito. And once again, uh, if you like this video, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. No? And uh, yung bell button, ano, click nyo na rin yun para ma-notify kayo every time may bago akong upload na video. Okay? Bye!